Welcome to this beta program of academic note-taking, how to collect, organize, and synthesize time-traveling smart notes using Rome Research. I'm Lisa Marie Cabrelli, and I will be your host for the course. Um, we will start with a hello and me telling you just a little bit about who I am. Hello, my name is Lisa Marie Cabrelli, and I am an entrepreneur and a creative writer. I came late to academia after a career in corporate, developing um, software and also working on business process uh, creation and development. I also created, ran and sold um, my own business. That was my entrepreneurial adventure. I sold my business in 2015 um, and was able to retire at 45 at which time I decided that I would like to write novels. Um, so actually I wrote four novels before deciding um, that I wanted something different. The idea that I would ever enter a PhD program was far from my mind, but when my husband and I found ourselves having to give up our digital nomad lifestyle to relocate back to Scotland and look after his aging mum, I enrolled um, in an emlet for fun. Uh, and then, well, it kind of got out of hand, and here I am. <laughs> All this to say is that I do not come from an academic background, which is good for you. Um, so some of the following, uh, which were epiphanies to me, may be old news to you. But because I'm coming at this from a completely different angle and I have a completely different set of skills and experiences as most of you, um, I'm probably looking at it a little bit differently, which I think might be new. So there may be some new stuff. There, there will be some new stuff in this course as well. Um, in this video, in this course, um, I outline what I have named the missing piece. And I think that this is the essential part of writing uh, an academic uh, thesis or an academic dissertation that no one explains to you. Uh, I would say that perhaps it's just rightly assumed that a student would know this missing piece, but of course I did not. And after buying countless books on writing a thesis, uh, attending multiple thesis writing university workshops, and chatting with many, many other PhD students, I would say the assumption that you know this uh, just makes an ass out of, well, you know how that goes. Anyway, the missing piece. The missing piece is how to write before actually writing, how to take notes and develop ideas before you are sitting in front of a blank page, freaking out because your supervisor is urging you to just write something, which is what my supervisors were doing to me. And as part of that, how to keep all of your notes and sources organized, ready and waiting and at your fingertips so that the information you've worked so hard to collect and synthesize will appear at the right place at the right time, filling that blank page with work you have already done. So this is what this course is about. I'm the one who's teaching it to you because I'm the one who has struggled for nearly a year and a half trying to figure out how to do this from having no academic experience whatsoever. So, again, take what you need, throw away what you don't. You might be smarter than me, but you'll find something new here, I guarantee. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about what is a beta course. A beta course is something that you run before it is ready. So that's why I have a big exclamation point there. Not ready. This course is not ready for prime time. It is a course that I am developing. It will be released over time as it gets developed. And most importantly, this course is co-creative. So I'm counting on you to give me feedback that will improve the course. Let me know what I'm missing, what you think I might have gotten wrong, what you think I should um, change. This is all really vital information. So what you can expect from me is the best information and guidance I have based on my extensive global process development experience. So although I'm not from academia, I am from a background that has really unique skill sets that contributed to this particular course. 
You can also expect from me complete openness to honest and critical feedback. I'm a writer, so I can take feedback. I don't get defensive. Gimme, gimme, gimme all you've got. I need it. Um, You can also expect me to be as responsive to you and to some to support you in any way that I can um, above and beyond the beyond the course. Um, I'm here for you, so you let me know what I can help you with. What I expect from you is participation in the beta forum, um, in the beta feedback forum. So there's a discussion forum in this platform, and I would hope that you participate as much as possible in that forum to provide me with really honest and critical feedback um, to the questions that I ask you. I hope that you will ask questions too, and I really expect you to challenge me, um, and I hope that happens as well. So I'm inviting it. Let's talk about the course structure. I believe that courses should achieve three goals. They should identify the problems, explore the solutions that are possible, and get you results. And that's how this course has been developed with those three things in mind, which is why you'll see all three things on every page. Um, We're going to start with module one. Um, You're in the first lesson to module one, but the rest of the introduction um, covers the problem of my supervisor keeps telling me to just start writing something, but I can only sit and stare at a blank page. I can't seem to get started um, or organized at all. So the solution is um, academic writing is a process challenge that I have discovered But there is a path to productivity and results. And in module one, here is a framework for you to try. So module two. In module two, we're going to be talking about the essential tools that you're going to need in order to be able to complete this course. Room research is obviously the number one tool. The problem that you have is that I can't remember what I read. I don't know what to read next. I have notes lying around everywhere. I can't remember why I wrote that down. I know there's a connection between what I just read and something else I read, but I can't remember what it was or I can't find it. So the solution is you cannot approach a project of this length and size the old-fashioned way. Post-it notes, index cards, and highlighters, they just won't cut it. So in module two, here are the tools that you need and why. Module three. This is the note-taking block, and I've put reading and writing in parentheses because those are important for you to know about, and you will find out about them within the course, why they're there. Your problem is, I don't know how to take notes that translate into ideas. I've forgotten why I wrote this down. I can't recall the context of a quote I highlighted. I just take notes, then I leave them there in a book, on a PDF, on a PDF, in my notebook, etc. So the solution is there is a way to make your notes smart. There is a way to take notes so that you will remember why you took that note and what context you took it from. There is a way to use all of your notes as building blocks of future writing. There is a way to take notes so that you will never lose them. And in module three, here is that way. Module four is the organizing block. Your problems are some days I just spend hours messing around with my bibliography and rereading notes and staring at my computer. I'm so unorganized with notes everywhere and piles of paper and post-it notes and dog-eared books. I'm never quite sure what to do next. The solution, organizing time is essential time, not wasted time. So when you treat organizing and planning as vital and valid activities, and you approach that those activities with a clear, fixed process, everything you do will count towards your end result. And in module four, here is that process. Module five is the synthesizing block, and I have writing and synthesizing in parentheses, and you'll find out why later. Your problem is when I try to go back to an original source, I forget what it was about. The notes are interesting, but I just have piles of them to reread all the time. Nothing seems connected, can't manage the volume. When I sit down to write, I'm overwhelmed by the notes that I have in so many different sources and I can't seem to bring them together. There is a solution and this is the most important process within your thesis writing. 
you need to make your notes so smart that they are practically thesis ready paragraphs. You need to clear away the fleeting ideas and focus on the core messages. You need to make connections between your notes and ideas that you can explore in your writing. You need your notes to time travel forward from when you took them and appear in front of you when you are ready to write. And here is how you do all of that. Module six is the writing block, and this is the writing slash editing. So your problem is I'm lost in Microsoft Word. I can't find anything. I can't move stuff around. Someone told me to try Scrivener, but it was so complicated and it didn't do exactly what I needed it to do, even though I can't even really tell you what it is that I need it to do. My outline keeps changing, so I end up cutting and pasting and screwing everything up. I have so many printed out copies, I can't remember which version I'm on. The solution is you need a magical tool that is ready and waiting for you to come in and play. And Rome Research is that tool, and we will have been working in it so far um, in all the other lessons. This is the final lesson um, where you'll use Rome Research. This tool has an outline that you can easily change and rearrange. It has notes that are almost thesis worthy, so writing can almost feel like plug and play. You need an easy way to look back through every note that you've taken, every source that you've read, without moving away from your paper in front of you and away from your thoughts that are in flow. So in module six, here is that tool and here is the way to approach writing within it. So what do you need? You need Rome Research. Um, Rome Research does have a student membership option. When you apply for your account, there's a little button, I think, on the bottom that says you would like to um, apply for um, student pricing. It also has uh, paid options. There is a paid option called the Believer Plan, which is the one I'm on, and that is a five-year purchase. So it's $500 for five years which gives you a reduced annual rate from the regular annual rate. And it also gives you a whole bunch of other bonuses. Um, I believe in Rome Research because I use it for every aspect of my life, not just um, PhD. I do my creative writing in it. I do my life planning in it. I do my business planning in it. So um, it's something that I think is well worth investing in if you have the capability to do so. You're going to need a, a reference management tool. I use Mendeley. There are many. They all do more or less the same thing. You're going to need Microsoft Word. I don't think your committee would accept a own research database, although I wish they would. And also, um, you're going to need some other recommended software tools, and you're going to need the reading list, which within it contains the credits for this course. Um, I just didn't make this all up in a vacuum. I have been doing extensive reading um, and listening and watching different courses, books, programs, all about um, both note taking, Rome research, PhD um, uh, uh, structuring, et cetera, et cetera. So all of those uh, will be within the resource link that is going to be with this lesson. It may not be ready as you're watching it, but it will be ready shortly thereafter. Um, and it will link to a page where I can do the links directly into the things I'm sending you to. So that's what you need. And so what's next? So what's next is you should go into the discussion forum. I think one of the great things about Room Research is that it is a real community. And I think encouraging that community and encouraging people who are using Room Research in the same way to work together and share ideas and share um, results and sh um, sh share new findings is really important. And we can kind of create that within ourselves while we're working on the beta course. So when you go into the discussion forum, introduce yourself if you haven't done that yet, and then also provide feedback on model one, module one, lesson one. Um, if the questions are up there, they may not be up there yet. Um, and that's it. And then you can spend some time reviewing your resource guide and you will be ready to go. Uh, I hope to have one or more lessons up every week. 
I'm also at the same time, obviously, uh, writing an, uh, a novel and a thesis <laughs> for my PhD submission. So um, I'm doing this as I'm working. So I, I hope that you will have patience and bear with me. But I'm super looking forward to working with you. I really hope that there's something that I just outlined in those problems and solutions that resonates with you and makes you excited about working on this course. Um, I'm looking forward to see where it takes us. So I will see you next time. Lisa Marie out.